Greetings everyone, Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 5th December 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court, the Chief Justice of India, Justice D.Y. Chandrachud, while calling for a comprehensive accessibility audit of Supreme Court premises to ensure accessibility in the justice system and understand the hardships faced by specially abled persons in their interface with the Supreme Court, has constituted the Supreme Court Committee on Accessibility headed by Justice S. Ravindra Bhatt. The Supreme Court has directed appointment of a candidate whose candidature was rejected on the ground that he was tried for the offence under Section 498A of the IPC. The Supreme Court has held that an application to sue as indigent under Order 33 Rule 1 of the CPC can be rejected if it is found that the suit is barred by res judicata. News from the High Courts Starting with the Calcutta High Court The Calcutta High Court has held that Section 9 of Arbitration and Conciliation Act is a provision that is in aid of arbitration proceedings in contrast to the other provisions of Part 1 that relates to conduct of arbitration proceedings and has been mandated to apply to foreign seated arbitrations as well. The High Court has summarized the tests and principles that govern the exercise of judicial discretion in respect of grant of interlocutory injunctions under Order 39, Rules 1 and 2, read with Section 151 of CPC during the pendency of suit proceedings. The High Court has held that writ jurisdiction of High Courts is invocable even for cases involving ordinary commercial transactions between private persons and public bodies as long as some element of public law are involved in the said commercial transactions. News highlights from the Kerala High Court The Kerala High Court has directed all family court judges to release the amount deposited towards areas of maintenance under the orders of High Court or otherwise at the earliest. The High Court has held that non-constitution of special courts under Section 30B of the Mines and Minerals Development and Regulation Act 1957 cannot affect seizure and confiscation proceedings under the Act. The Kerala High Court has stayed operation of notification issued by the Ministry of Finance dated October 4, 2022 to the extent that it transfers jurisdiction of all applications involving a debt amount of Rs 100 crores and above falling within the jurisdiction of DRT-1 and DRT-2 Ernakulam with DRT-1 Chennai. News highlights from other high courts in the country. The Bombay High Court, while issuing directions in a PIL seeking effective implementation of the Mental Health Care Act 2017 in Maharashtra, has observed the regrettable state of affairs in the State Mental Health Authority. The Madras High Court, while observing that a person who has converted to another religion cannot claim benefits of his community before conversion unless it is expressly granted by the state, has rejected backward quota claim of a man who converted to Islam from Hinduism. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.